This video is sponsored by OWC. Mac OS Ventura is official, and so here are some of the best features that you need to know about the latest update that's coming to your Mac. One of the biggest new updates is Stage Manager, a feature that lets you focus on the app that you're currently working on without having to go full screen. Basically, if your home screen looks like this with all of these apps kind of cluttering up your desktop, toggle on Stage Manager and apps get pushed off to the left side in a tile view, which makes it easier to see what's open and even easier to add apps to the center of the stage or switch between them. You can activate Stage Manager via Control Center or just drag and drop the shortcut from Control Center to your menu bar for even easier access in the future. You can group your favorite apps together to make your workflow even more efficient. And if you still wanna access your desktop, just click on any open spot of your wallpaper to bring it up. Spotlight received a set of pretty useful features like the ability to finally use Quick Look inside of Spotlight to quickly preview what a file might look like or what's inside of it, rather than having to fully open up the application and open up that file. You can also run quick actions like set a timer, start a focus mode, run shortcuts, and so much more all inside of Spotlight. You can also search for web images like people, animals, monuments, and more all inside of Spotlight. The Mail app also gets a nice set of new features that really bring the app more in line with third-party Mail apps that have had some of these features for years now. Features like reminders for emails so that you can revisit an email at a later date, undo send just in case you made a mistake or decided I don't really wanna send that email, you can quickly just hit undo send and get it right back, and even the ability to schedule an email to be sent at a later time or date. FaceTime calls can now be handed off between your iPhone or iPad to your Mac super easily, and I'm finally excited that this feature is here. Just simply select the FaceTime icon in your menu bar during an active FaceTime call on, say, your iPhone or iPad, and you'll see the ability to click switch for a seamless handoff. Apple also introduced a feature that will be super helpful for not only FaceTime calls, but other video conferencing applications like Zoom, for example, called Continuity Camera. Apple is basically admitting here that its webcams will never be as good as your iPhone, which makes sense. So why not use your iPhone's cameras for video calls? And that's exactly what Continuity Camera does. With this feature, you'll bring a subset of other nice functions like center stage for basically any Mac now because it's using your iPhone and it's multiple cameras, studio lighting, which darkens the background and puts more of a nicer lighting emphasis on the subject, and then there's desk view, which uses multiple cameras from your iPhone to show you and a top-down version of your desk or whatever is right below your iPhone. I think these features will certainly be more useful whenever Apple sells this iPhone mount accessory that they demoed in the keynote or other third-party options like this come available in the future. But right now, I have to hold my iPhone above my MacBook for this shot and so, it's not as helpful that way, but soon it will make it better because there's really nothing better than your iPhone's rear cameras for a webcam. There are also a few new applications inside of macOS Ventura, like a proper clock app and weather app, which offers the same functionality as your iPhone or iPad's clock and weather app, but now you get the ability to set alarms and timers on your Mac, alongside being able to see all of the great features from the weather app, but with a much larger display for more information at a quicker glance. Speaking of apps, the System Preferences app got a major redesign in efforts to be a bit more consistent and in line with iOS and iPadOS's settings app. And so now we have this kind of list style view of each setting and category on the left with the rest of the information selected on the right. And lastly, Apple introduced a few new features for Safari, starting with shared tab groups, which will help users who are maybe planning an event or a vacation together. And instead of just sending links to people via messages, you can actually just have a shared uh, tabs group available so that you can add links whenever you want and other users can go and see all of those links in one relevant and important location. Apple also introduced pass keys and efforts to replace passwords for an easier and safer sign in method. Now pass keys can never leave your device and are safe from harmful data leaks or phishing attempts. And these are just some of the features inside of macOS Ventura, but be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our deeper dive into macOS Ventura at a later date. Now, before we end today's video, I do want to give you more information about today's sponsor, OWC. The OWC Mini Stack STX is a stackable storage solution and Thunderbolt Hub expansion for your Mac Mini, or really any Mac. 
with a universal SATA hard drive SSD bay and an NVMe SSD slot, you can actually expand your mini storage capacity to gigantic proportions. Three Thunderbolt ports are enabled for you to connect millions of Thunderbolt USB and future USB 4 drives, displays, AV mixers, cameras, and tablets, as well as desktop accessories like a keyboard, card reader, or mouse. The Mini Stack STX is whisper quiet due to its internal heatsink and cooling fan. You can add over 200 times more storage to your Mac Mini and add RAID protection via soft RAID software. And of course, you're adding a mix of up to five Thunderbolt devices, three USB, and two displays. Even though this size perfectly for a Mac Mini, as I said before, you can use it with any Mac, even a PC or your iPad and Chromebooks. And so for more information about OWC in the Mini Stack STX, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.